A possible new law relating to the treatment of aquarium life generated lengthy discussion during a county council hearing last week. Bill 318 was taken up in the County Council Committee on Agriculture, Water and Energy Sustainability during its November 18th meeting in Kona. Deputy Clerk Miley David, set to become a council member at the start of the term next week, read the measure into the record. Protections include prohibiting withholding food from aquarium life for more than 24 hours, requiring ample water supply when transporting aquarium life, and prohibiting the transport of aquarium life in a manner that is likely to cause injury or death. Any person violating these provisions would be subject to a fine of up to $1,000 imprisonment of up to 30 days or both. Aquarium fish collecting has been a controversial industry in West Hawaii for decades. The situation on the reef is particularly tense these days, following the altercation between a collector and an environmentalist in the waters off Kona earlier this year. The apparent attack made national headlines. Last May at Kiawaiki, an aquarium collector attacked a diver when she filmed him with a GoPro camera. Violence shows the aquarium trade's willingness to risk anything for money, to risk our reefs for money. On Tuesday, the public packed West Hawaii Civic Center in order to sound off on the proposal. Robert Wintner of Snorkel Bob's fame spoke in favor of the bill. No business in the world gets free, unlimited inventory, especially a business that for many years has abused use the public trust. Inventory is not infinite. Hawaii Reef Wildlife is in decline. The proposed rules the also found support from the Humane trade. Society of the United States. Trade. No other pet trade would allow the mortality rates that we see in this industry. 5% dead on arrival across the board. 10% um, up to 15% within the first 14 days alone. Could you imagine any other industry that would tolerate those rates of mortality and suffering? Native Hawaiians also testified for the bill. And in our community, we have seen the complete, um, a huge depletion of it. And the main reason I do this is for not, it's not only for me, but also for the future generations that we work with in our community. And we're one of the last communities in the state that has practiced traditional ways. And a lot of our fishermen have already said enough. But not all Native Hawaiians were in support. Take, for example, former police officer Bimo Akiona. As far as the Hawaiian food cycle, tropical fish not being a food, in the old days maybe not, but today when our houses cost on average $500,000, it is food. Because the tropical fish I caught, I used, I made money, and I gave it to my Uncle Jimmy so he could get gas to take his boat out and catch ahi which he didn't catch that often because ahi was tough. Mainly, opposition to the bill came from the aquarium trade industry. Okay, We ship fish once a week, 40 years, over 2,000 times. Okay, The simple fact here is we do not get paid for dead fish. We would not be in business if, if the statements they were making were true. Furthermore, I would like you guys to know that myself and the rest of these folks in my industry that stand before you today do care about these fish, and for me, it's a lifelong passion. I encourage you to carefully review the written submission of the Pet Industry Joint Advisory Council, PJAC, and the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, AZA, for more references, research, and facts. Thank you for your time today. Council members discussed the measure following public input. I mean, I can remember in 19, when I first came here in 1970, 71, my favorite thing was going snorkeling. That's what I did all the time. And now you just don't find the fish. I feel offended because this is our ocean, our fish, our, our resources that people taking for free to make money off of this. I think it's an offensive, horrible industry. Um, I, I don't like the untruthfulness that's been displayed here with people deliberately misreading this bill and saying we're gonna kill fish by packing them in one gallon of water. It's really a different method of banning in the sense of having additional expenses so the industry doesn't survive. I'm not trying to beat around the bush. To me, that's what I see. The bill was ultimately postponed to the call of the chair.